So it's a beautiful day here in Modesto, California, Zone 9B. It's in the middle of the winter time. Actually, we're starting to warm up and our days are already averaging in the low 60s. And today's no different. Today, we're so far, we're about 61. But I haven't really done much in the way of messing with my plants, watering, fertilizing, or anything like that. Because let's face it, it's in the winter and we've gotten a lot of rain. But, um, yeah, we got a lot of rain, but we haven't had any rain in over a month, it seems like, at least any substantial rain. And I was looking at this plant today. This is a young seedling avocado tree. I believe it's probably Wilma. And I, um, it was completely wilted. As soon as the weather warmed up, the thing was wilted. I'm like, oh, man, maybe it's got some kind of root rot. Avocados get that way. They're very sensitive to root rot. But I put some water in it, and as soon as it warmed up, we're in their 60s, and it perked up, and I'm like, I better check some of my avocado trees in the ground, because they haven't had any water in over a month. Hi, my name is Jeff, and welcome to my Tropical Garden channel. Today we're going to talk about irrigating avocados midwinter. We'll get to that, but first, if you like this channel, go ahead and hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. So let's take a look at uh, my main avocado tree, and we'll discuss irrigation midwinter. So it's kind of crazy in that we had a record amount of rainfall over the last of oh, the first part of winter I mean seriously I've never seen it get five inches of rain in one day and we had had one day that had five inches of rain but that was the first part of the winter and oh and on last month we haven't had a not a single drop maybe three weeks we have had not a single drop and we normally we get a little bit of rain and that kind of keeps these semi-dwarf avocado trees semi-dwarf <laughs> semi-dormant uh, avocado trees uh, enough to keep them moist and uh, get them ready for spring when they take off growing but we haven't had any rain for quite a while so as I mentioned, I noticed several of my plants needed to be in pots needed to be watered, and I so I watered them. And wow, look at this! I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can't clarify clear this up a little bit. This Mexicola Grande is already putting out. It's flowering, but so yeah, um, several of my plants needed water. I just watered them all. I just hand watered all of my my uh, potted plants and then it's like what do I do about my trees that are in ground so I could turn the irrigation on but I don't think they need a lot of water wow I'm looking at that queen avocado and it's the one last avocado and look at the size of that darn thing this thing is getting huge it's gonna be fun making a taste test video on that guy Hopefully you can see that. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, the tree is, is in the process of flowering. So it really needs some additional irrigation. Uh, but all I do in situations like this, I don't turn on my uh, main micro sprinklers or anything like that. I want a deep watering, a deep irrigation. And I just turn the hose on, maybe one gallon a minute for about a half hour and that seems to be enough to uh, to saturate the ground and as you can see it's been going for right about a half hour and as you can see water starting to pull up in the in a about a five foot in diameter area which should be plenty good now I looked at Wilma and I'm kind of embarrassed Look at Wilma, she is not doing good at all. I should have watered this avocado tree. 
I should have watered this avocado tree it's two weeks ago. It'll recover, but it's been so foggy uh, on the days that it hasn't rained that I really just didn't bother with my trees. So, yeah, just deeply water it. And I probably won't have to water it again for a while unless we don't get any more rain. So if you like this channel, hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell. And if you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below. You have a wonderful day.